Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery here in Canmore, Alberta. I am a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canada, and I wanted to show you all the amazing things that I got from on stage in Vancouver. So a lot of you know that I went to Vancouver this past weekend, and there was a big convention. Stampin' Up! puts on two big events per year, and um, wow, it's always incredible. It's it's just amazing to walk into the room and there are all these, you know, demonstrators who have the same passion as you do. And so I just wanted to share some of the things that I got. You always get amazing goodies, that's for sure. So when you first walk into the, you know, big convention center there, you get a bag. And so this year's bag looks like this. It's beautiful. It's got so many pockets on the inside. It's got like the clasp here for us anal people who need our purses closed. <laughs> and uh, oh, I love it. I love the colors. And the colors are often the same colors that are the new in colors coming for this year. So uh, I think it's oh, something peacock. Pretty peacock is this color. So there you go. So you get the bag and inside the bag you get a little letter and my letter, oops, got a, got a glue dot on it. Hi Teresa. I got a letter and my letter said kind of congratulations you've uh, earned your five years and so in the afternoon <laughs> on Saturday you will be walking across the stage to congratulate you for this milestone <sighs> so that terrified me the entire day uh, as many of you know I suffer from anxiety and so that was kind of a moment <laughs> but I had so much encouragement from all of you that I did it I went for it and I did it. So I was proud of myself afterwards. Another thing that you get is your name tag and whatever rank you are. So I am silver. Um, and then you get this little number here. Um, that is for prize patrol. So when your number is called, that is the item that you get. So I think there were six different numbers I got when number one was called, all the number ones got this stamp set. I think it'll be lots of fun. I am, whoop, this way. I'm in love with this little um, mailbox. I think it's so cute. So I got that for free. Um, so this is my little lanyard, yes. And what else? Inside the bag, there were, you got two pens. So these are obviously, Rococo, Rococo Rose, and this is Seaside Spray, the color. The new in colors, I'm giving you little hints here. You also, when you go to on stage, you get to do the pre-pre product purchase, which means that there are certain items in the new catalog that you get to order that day and a couple days later, up to a couple days later. So basically you get to play with the items before anybody else even has a chance to see them, which is pretty amazing. So there was that. And we all got a little clipboard here with this little paper on it. And on inside there was, uh, they really wanna foster relationships and get you talking to people. So they had the Mingle Bingo so I had to, you had to go around and, you know, say, what do you have on my little list? Hello, my name is. And then also making connections. So I'm not gonna flash that one up very long, but you can get people's um, email and exchange their information so that you can keep in touch and uh, share ideas all year round, which is pretty amazing. Also inside the bag was this free stamp set, Daisy Lane. You'll notice this side, there's the, a daisy um, that 
matches up with the punch and we're actually going to work on that tonight. The di uh, Delightful Daisy. Daisy Delight. Yes, stamp set and punch. So that matches with that. There is also, I don't know if you saw here, a smaller daisy in this set, which is going to be kind of fun to play with. So if you can layer those two daisies, they'll be nice and full and amazing. Also inside our bag, we got this beautiful um, like pad for writing on. It's got the dots. It's also got the lines, which is so beautiful. This also gives you a hint as to some upcoming uh, products, which are bird, the bird ballad, bird ballad, I can't remember. So that's pretty cool. Then inside the bag, we also got these amazing file folders. So they're, they're tough, they're strong. And so, let's see, this one, and two of these. So that's pretty cool. Then we did our make and take. So in the middle of the box, they at middle of the table, they have a box full of all of the items that you're going to need to create your make and takes. So our first one we made was this one. It's not showing the colors very good. I wonder if I does that help? So that was a cute one. Simple, simple. I'll be getting this one. Um, there was Eldonna who presented this card and this suite. She, the, no worries, Teresa, no worries. Um, she was sitting beside me. I had no idea that uh, she was going to be a presenter. So I felt pretty special getting to sit beside a big celebrity. But she uh, presented this one and did an amazing job. She even got a standing ovation. So I was pretty impressed. She did awesome. Then we did this one. So of course we're all using the new stamp sets, the new paper, all sorts of fun stuff. Then we got to actually try out uh, an item from the upcoming paper pumpkin that Shelly has uh, kind of created. Beautiful colors, love it. Then lastly, we didn't get time to finish this, but um, this was the make and take that we were gonna make. Time just whittled away and we had to keep moving on. At the end of the make and takes, what happens is all of the items that we used in this box to create all the make and takes, we get to farm out to each other. So I think we decided on who had the, the birth, whose birthday was coming up first and so you each person gets to go in a row and we pick out one item from the supply box so I ended up getting three stamp and blends because I wanted these colors because I use them a lot and they dry out pretty quickly and I also got this punch nice <laughs> free and lastly we got a, a big pack of designer series paper. Um, I love this. It's like bumpy. It's quite neat. So it's pretty with hummingbirds. It's mosaic. So of course this will come with a stamp set and, and there will be all sorts of items that go with this suite, which is pretty nice. Nice colors. I like them. And of course, they're double-sided, and if you, uh, you know, one side's not your thing, you can always move on to the other side. More hummingbirds. Some leaves. Oh, pretty. This is my favorite, look at that. I don't know if you can tell, there's like a shine to where it's bumpy. Like it. Um, yellow. And there's the last one. So 
they're beautiful. So you get all of these items and uh, get to hear speakers. They provide lunch for you. Um, what else? I don't know. You just get to connect with lots of amazing people. Hi, Chrissy. Um, so the next one is November. And if you live in Canada, I would love for you to come with me. Um, it is in Edmonton, November 16th. And um, you need to be a demonstrator, first off. So the whole room, the whole world has events going on with just demonstrators. There's tons of people, which makes you feel like a big part of the family. And the biggest thing that I took away, I should get my book, from the session was that um, they were saying, I can find my notes here, I wrote notes, that Stampin' Up! is much more than just, you know, stamps, paper, and ink, right? I mean, it is our relationships, it is our, you know, getting together with people and um, building friends and um, like she got us to think of somebody if we were to have a tragedy in our life who would be somebody that you could go to that you know you could count on to um, be there for you to help you whatnot and um, she had some statistics that one in four people wouldn't have somebody to go to if there was a crisis in their life. So, you know, one in four. One in five, five people out there feel unloved. I was one of those people. And um, I'll keep going. 10% don't feel like they have any friends. It was me. Um, if you have people in your life that um, you can count on, friendships, it actually increases your survival rate of 50% if you have strong friendships. And so I think about these stats and I think about um, stamping up in my life and I think about those people that I would call if or contact if I had a crisis in my life. And they are most certainly the people that I have met because of Stampin' Up. And so when they say, you know, that it's more than paper, ink, stamps, it certainly is. And that is by far my favorite part about being part of Stampin' Up, that all the incredible women that you meet. There are men out there too um, who share a similar passion. They share a passion not only for, you know, crafting, but they share a passion just to create bonds with people, to make people's day better, to kind of, I don't know, give someone a purpose for continuing almost. And so, um, that is my reason for doing what I'm doing. Um, to be honest, I had prayed and I said, okay, God, I want this to be a place where people who are lonely can, uh, make friendships, come and make friendships and, um, just have a place that they know they have somebody that will look out for them. And so I know that has been the case in many instances. It's also kind of flipped around and uh, blessed me in return. So if you are on the fence about joining Stampin' Up! and um, kind of not, you know, not knowing what it all, what all is involved, um, I dare you to give it a try. It's, um, if it doesn't work out for you, it doesn't work out for you. The Stampin' Up! Police do not come to your door. <laughs> they don't even, you know, harass you or anything. They just, you know. But I, I 
if you are a person who's lonely or needs friendship, this is definitely an incredible avenue to open those doors. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to contact me. Um, otherwise, we are going to have four cards and friends tonight at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. And I hope that you can uh, join us all this evening. Talk to you later.